From the peaceful city of Omaha to the devastation in Haiti, there is a connection. Watson Marine, a Haiti native, cherishes family even more now that he's lost his uncle in this catastrophic earthquake. He was around 35 or so. He went to school, to the seminary, and the actual school fell on him. Um, only five kids um, came out alive. Although Watson was able to visit his surviving family in Haiti, he'll never be able to pay his respects to his uncle. Where he was at is where most of the things fell. His body was crushed. Um, the, the earthquake happened on Tuesday. They found him on Thursday and had to bury him Friday morning. CEO of the American Red Cross Heartland Chapter, Tina Lepilarte Price, tells how they responded to this disaster. We had people on the ground immediately because they work there. In fact, our Red Cross building was one of the ones that was destroyed uh, in the disaster. So our people were there immediately. Uh, and of course, it's the magnitude of this event makes it a difficult relief operation. So has losing their building hindered relief efforts in Haiti? We don't need a building to do our work. <laughs> uh, so really, our American Red Cross president, for example, who is from DC, Gail McGovern, was there uh, just on Tuesday. Tuesday, uh, spent the day with those Red Crossers who were already in Haiti. To donate, go to redcross.org. The connection between Haiti and Omaha could be you. For the Omaha News, I'm Lasagna Hart.